for two uh, road wins to start the lead. Is, is that kind of a benchmark now that you guys have proved, maybe even to yourselves, that you are what you think you could be? I think so, and I think it's a good starting spot in our season. Um, never easy to play on the road in this conference. Um, so coming together like we did and, and grinding out two wins like uh, you know Southern Hill and Indiana State, I think it's huge for us. Um, and, and you know that only makes the expectations higher for us. So we're excited about those wins. Can you talk, Kurt, about coming back home now for two? I mean, being on the road for two weeks and back home. Yeah, it's a, a little different. Um, a little different week. Uh, weeks a little bit longer. You know, have film and stuff uh, on Friday, so it's extended a little bit. Um, you know, we got the night game on on Saturday, so uh, a lot of you know downtime, rest time, uh, time to you know re-energize and, and get used to playing in our stadium, get used to playing in front of our fans again. Uh, we started off the season well uh, with our fans, so we're, we're just going to try to bring that momentum back into Stamball. Do you prefer night games? I mean, sitting around all day, or would you rather play at noon? Or I'd rather I'd rather wake up and play right away. Um, but you know the time it's it's not on me. So whenever whenever we got to be at the stadium, whenever we got to suit it up, I'm ready to go. Kurt, it's probably hard during the season to kind of look at uh, where you're at you know, in the record books. But do you have some time maybe on the plane ride home to kind of reflect and think about the fact that you're the career uh, leader in passing yards? Um, you know, I've, I I yeah, I thought about it a little bit. Uh, Jelani Barasa, you know, mentioned it to me. He he called me on the bus and told me congrats and. You know, I told him that was a, uh, you know, that was a lot because of him, you know, playmakers like him, um, you know, throwing a lot of yards to Jelani, throwing a lot to Christian Bryan, Dominique Barnes. Um, um, I talked to Dom on the way home. He called me as well, so he congratulated me. Um, but I, I think it's something that's really cool, but, you know, I, I think I have a lot left to prove. Uh, my receivers have a lot left to prove. Uh, they've told me that they want more. They want more wins. They want more, more yardage. They want to, you know, keep going. So if it's a team record, that we're going for, which I think it is, uh, we're going to try to extend it. Last year, I jumped out to the early lead here against Illinois State and they battled back. Just, um, yeah, what type of game do you expect? And then maybe just touch on Illinois State. Um, we always seem to have a close one with these guys. So um, I could expect anything. Uh, we jumped out last year. I think we played pretty well the year before here at Stanball, so it really could happen either way. It could be a shootout, it could be a 10-3 to game, it could be a 6-3 to game. It's, I think it's just how our conference is. They're uh, very well coached. I think we're very well coached. Um, so anything is possible. We've got to be ready for anything. Um, we're just going to focus the task at hand offensively um, and, and make sure everybody's ready. Make sure we have a good week of practice. Talk about skills of their defensive unit. Um, I, I think, like I said, they're very well coached, and anytime you play a disciplined defense like Illinois State and a bunch of the other teams in our conference, um, you, you just got to make sure you know what you're doing mentally. Um, staying focused on, you know, the X's and O's and, and reading defenses and reading the coverages, seeing blitzes and things like that. They're going to bring us some blitzes, but, you know, they're a hard-nosed football team. They're going to be gap sound, um, and we're going to have to take our shots when we can. Maybe with Ohio State not playing and you guys playing at night, is Saturday maybe a chance for a special atmosphere? I think it should be. You know, I think we, we've brought some excitement. We've played well um, to start the season, and it's, I think it's the best record we've had since I've been here. So um, definitely we should, we should have a home field advantage. Stainball should be rocking. Um, I'm excited for it. I hope a lot of people come out, and that'll, that'll give us that much more juice and, and that much more reason to play better. Kurt, going back to Saturday's game, is there a lot to do during the 70-minute delay? No, not, not, not much. Not much on the road. Um, you're in a strange locker room. You're in, you know, sitting real close together. You're sitting, um, you know, with the quarterbacks. We're sitting there. We're sitting with some coaches and, you know, getting thirsty, getting hungry, you know, re anxious to play, um, hearing, hearing these thunder delays every time. But it's, it's just part of football. It's adversity, and you've got to face it, um, you know, weather permitting, whatever. Um, so it's just it's one of those things we had to overcome, and we did. Um, I, I think just you know being focused on it and being conscientious and working on it during the week. We you know we have our ball security period today and uh, running backs. Anytime anybody runs the ball, keeping the ball high and tight, keeping it in close to our body, um, making good decisions at the quarterback position. I think is huge. Um, you know, receivers same thing when they get the ball. Just just being focused on it and, and paying mind to it.
<laughs> Good answer. You're good. Um, can you just real quick just talk mm -hmm. about Martin and, and you know, what he's brought to this offense and along with Jody? Martin is a good back. He is he's fun to play with. He's fun to watch um, on film. He, he's got a lot of tools. He is a fast running back. He's he's very strong. He's got great balance and great vision. Um, his, you know his vision and his strength is only going to get better as he's playing here. But you know I'm very blessed blessed to play with Martin. Um, I only get one year with him, so I'm going to enjoy every game I have with him. Uh, Jody's got great speed. Um, they, they're fresh backs. They're they're fun to play with. They they can take the ball outside. They can run in between the tackles. Um, they make people miss. They're kind of like stubs, and that's fun to watch as a uh, quarterback whenever I'm carrying out my fakes. So um, I'm excited to play with them and very blessed. Kurt, in any specific areas you feel like you've progressed since week one? I don't think you've thrown a pick since then, and you know, it just seems like each week you and the receivers are doing a little bit better. Um, I, I think it's just the preparation we do during the week, having good practices, having good individual periods, working on our fundamentals, um, and really staying focused and, and realizing how good of an offense we can be when we, when we don't turn the ball over and realizing what kind of team we can be um, if we don't turn the ball over, if we don't put our defense in bad situations. Um, so I, I really think that we are influential on our team. Um, the receivers realize that. They realize how precious the ball is. Um, as well, the running backs and tight ends, and you know, I've, I'm beginning, you know, just to realize even more um, how important it is not to turn the ball over. How about uh, getting in your bed before three thirty a.m. <laughs> yeah, that'll be nice. Um, so, so we'll try to get some sleep, get some extra rest. Uh, see, maybe I'll actually do some homework on Sunday. <laughs>